ಶ್ರೀಗುರುವಂದನಕೋಡಿತನಾರ್ಚರಣೋಡಿಶಿವಾಕ್ತಿವೇದಾಂತಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ So today we are celebrating almost the 120th anniversary of the appearance of Srila Prabhupada in this material world. Actually, 50 years ago, something extraordinary happened also. 50 years ago, or one year before even, 51 years ago, Prabhupada was here in Sri Vrindavan. He had taken up residence in Sri Radha Mandir. As all of you may know, and I visited that Sri Radha Mandir, Prabhupada has his little room, his little kitchen, very, very small, insignificant. He was living there and that, at that very time he was not known as Srila Prabhupada, he was Bhaktivinanta Swami. Since few years he had received initiation in sannyas life and had retired himself in Sri Vrindavan. But he was absorbed in the mission that his Sri Guru Dev, Srila Bhaktivinanta Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada gave him. And he was already preaching, as we all know, since many years. But already he was endearing himself to the Bridge Bassi because he was organizing festivals like Jan Mastamine yesterday and then Nandotsab the day after. So when the pilgrims, 50 years ago, that extraordinary year, came to Sri Radha Murdar to hear the beautiful kata of that renowned Swami who was living there. His name was Bhaktivedanta Swami. But that day, for that festival of Janmastami, Nandotsav, they received an answer, oh, Swami Ji is not in Vrindavan anymore, he is not in Radha Murdar anymore, he has left, oh, where did he go? What happened? He left Vrindavan, he took train, he went to Kolkata. Why? He has boarded a boat and now he is on the sea. He is going to America. So, the devotees were coming to Sri Radha Damodar. They were so surprised, but he's so old. He's alone. What will he do? When he asked for a ticket to go on that board to Shimati Sumati Moralji, she said, You are so old, Swamiji. What will you do in America? It's a very difficult place. And all are terrible people. But Prabhupada wanted to go, he insisted, and she gave him that ticket to board a boat, the Jaladutta. So that was happening 50 years ago. That uh, amazing step that Prabhupada took to leave Sri Vrindavan is very, very astonishing. There is no greater sacrifice that Prabhupada did. As we know, Vrindavanam Parityaja Padamekam Gachati. No one wants to leave Vrindavan. Krishna never leaves Vrindavan. And uh, of course, Shinati Radhika never leaves Vrindavan. But even the British Basi, everyone takes a vow, I will never leave Vrindavan. But Prabhupada came in Vrindavan to take shelter of Shirada Damoda Mandir, not to stay in Vrindavan, but to prepare himself. But still, he was so happy in Shirada Damoda. He explained in the, few, in the later years, especially in his uh, diary, that uh, I was so happy in Sri Radha Modar, but I have made that sacrifice. So Prabhupada took that 
terrible step, I say terrible in the sense that it is a great sacrifice. No one has done such a sacrifice. You externally, Prabhupada is always living in Vrindavan, but externally he gave up Sri Vrindavan Dam to go to the most fallen place. America, New York, the Lower East Side where he landed there. So that sacrifice is no small sacrifice. There is no higher sacrifice that can be done. Even the austerities and the most biggest tapasvi and yogis anywhere in the world or in the universe have no compare. Because to give up Vrindavan, I repeat, he never gave up internally, but externally he manifested that Lila, that he gave up Sri Vrindavan. To go save the fallen souls by starting with America was astonishing. So that uh, memorial journey was celebrated in Kolkata uh, one month ago. They really made it so uh, nice and it was so important that we are aware of that amazing sacrifice of Srila Prabhupada because it all started at that point. Prabhupada leaves Vrindavan. Who wants to leave Vrindavan? But he did it for the sake of all the fallen souls of this, uh, not, not only of this earth, but this universe, like Mataji said just before, Prabhupada is now preaching in another planet, especially lower planets. So it all started at that point, and he boarded the Tadbot Jaladuta, and as Maharaj, uh, Shripad Lokanath Maharaj mentioned, he actually had his Janmastami and his Nandatso, in the boat of the Jaladutta, and then he reached America. So this is the nature of the Brijabasis. They have that capacity to sacrifice everything, even their, <coughs> their own happiness in Braj, their own happiness in Prakat Brindavan, Boma Brindavan, performing their bhajan in Sri Radha Damodar, in Seva Kunj, so happy with Rupa Goswami, Jiva Goswami, Everything is so nice, but Prabhupada gave up that for the sake of all the conditions sort of this world. So this is an amazing sacrifice. And in, on that day, the, almost the 20, 120th anniversary of his appearance, where he comes from the spiritual world, already he gave up, in one sense, the spiritual world. Prabhupada explained and he confessed to, his, to his, some of his disciples that actually Krishna asked him, please go to this world, please wrote, write those books. And Prabhupada was reluctant because he wants to give up the association of Radha and Krishna in Golok Vrindavan and Prakat Lila. But he was requested, so he made that first sacrifice. He came to this world, this is today. Today Prabhupada came from Shri Vrindavan, a Prakat Lila, from uh, the eternal Shri Vrindavan Dam, Raj Bhumi made that sacrifice. Then again, 50 years ago, he left Shibrindavan, Boma Vrindavan, to go to America and start the, to distribute the mission of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So on that very auspicious double day, double auspicious, I pray that my Shila Prabhupada is told my young age, Yakkomarara, in remembering that verse, he stole my old age, I pray that now old age is coming. So if he can kindly steal my old age and engage me in everyday sacrificing, even, even a tiny particle of some energy, is, some contribution is service. Chai, Bonche Galvatar Uresh, Akriba, Sandhya, Gajatatanam, Bhavan, Yogeshun, 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 See how the Prabhupada spread all over the world from France, England, America, Africa, Europe, all over the world, the Bodhis.
for America, I beg you to please accept my humble obeisances to the dust of your lotus feet. On this historical occasion, let my meditation rest on your divine mission. Love for your spiritual master, sense of duty and compassion for the fallen living entities were certainly the qualities that you manifested to the full extent to undertake the highest mission of spreading Krishna consciousness. Mahaprabhu's prediction and desire of propagating the holy names of Krishna in every town and village were already said 500 years ago. Anyone could have taken the opportunity to fulfill the task. However, only you in particular, Srila Prabhupada, so humbly at heart, took this huge task upon yourself. For this sake, you endure so many difficult situations before, during, and after your voyage. At your arrival in America, you encountered a culture of people and habits that possibly you would have never even imagined that they existed. Nowadays, visiting local temples in this spiritual center that is Sri Vrindavan, one can see clearly that without you, Srila Prabhupada, the chances for us Westerners to engage in devotional service would have been very close to nil. Only you, Srila Prabhupada, took the trouble to leave this cozy spiritual niche for the benefit of the whole world. Moreover, and most importantly, in your infinite compassion, you made us a part of your family. Srila Prabhupada, up to date, nobody from Vrindavan would have, even, would have been either willing or daring doing such a thing as to have Westerners as close as family. With great intelligence and intuition, you worked out a system to present Krishna consciousness mostly in a very liberal way. You kept the principles, only changing the details, and you never compromised the philosophy. This was a perfect formula for your success, Srila Prabhupada. Those who after your physical departure, adventure or still are going to the west from India are only following in your sacred and soothing lotus-like footsteps. Srila Prabhupada, you paved their way. Nobody can match your compassion and understanding of the urgency that was following Mahaprabhu's instructions. Your presentation of the sacred scriptures is most perfect. Now your sacred scriptures. Your Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Chaitamrita have been the key contribution to your transcendental mission. Either found by chance somewhere in a library through friends or by meeting devotees, your books present information never told before to Westerners. You clear, your clear purpose are the fountainhead of nectarian messages with a magical touch of supplying with fresh knowledge each time that they are read. Furthermore, you give particular information on how to apply that knowledge. Srila Prabhupada, your books have the immense power of transforming people's lives direction. On this note, a story took place recently. While some devotees were touring France and distributing your books door to door, they met a man who one way or another had received your books some years earlier. Upon reading them, the man and his wife felt inspired to adopt in their daily life chanting and reading. When the devotees knocked at their man's door, the devotees were surprised that this gentleman and his wife were leading their lives by your books, despite of never having met devotees before or been to a temple. A similar case happened in the UK some weeks ago. One person had received one of your books from a friend. As quickly as one week into reading the book, the man quit all his previous materialistic habits, made his own beads out of wood, 
and started chanting, and again, he had never met the devotees before, neither been to a temple. Srila Prabhupada, life's, life's transformation is the result of your sleepless night translating for the benefit of the whole humanity. Now you iskon and his continuity. Meanwhile, the outcome of your efforts is, your, is our iskon and its obvious continuity in different ways around the globe. The results speak for themselves. Iskon is a real success, Srila Prabhupada. Finally, under your instruction and out of love for you, there is an increasing number of devotees taking the responsibility and challenge to guide others by giving Harinam and Brahman initiation to thousands. These you requested so